over here as one unit. I'm not going to rotate you at all and come down and adjust them. Left side. The moment of truth, guys. So I moved the mouse trap from this closet into the furnace room. So let's see if I got it. I put it here last night. Moment of truth. Ready? What the fuck? Come on, man. It's been a minute, I'm back. Don't fuck with them, me neither. They sleeping on me like naps. Every song I write's a sleeper. I ride the wave and they slap. They play or hate and won't bum me till they buzzing on me like naps. Now they acting like they love me. Then I'm blasting off and get gone. Walking shape on my lawn. I'm aiming for the stars. They be aiming for the pond. And he does it at dawn. I godfather my bomb. I'm percolating that strong. Fuck the poor shit that you want. Girl, I'm throwing you the D. You probably need to go long. Girl, you need to rub with me. Don't take Uber home, playing super duper Kyle, getting super duper gone. I'm lying up a plane, boy, I'm DB Cooper gone, getting gone. This is all about it, be about it, be about it. Don't talk about it, be about it, be about it. Voila. We have one and a half cups of Cheerios with one cup of almond milk. We have a four ounce banana, 30 chocolate chips. Um, 227 grams, which is also one cup of plain Greek yogurt, gallon water, a little bit of spanky, let's get it. If you are 22 years old, if you are, the amount of people that settle for the first paying job versus living with 19 friends on the floor and eating 99 cent meals blows my mind in lieu of trying to get your dream job versus what you settled for. Please, from 22 to 24, don't settle. You know, go for your dream job, pound for it, and if you can't get into VaynerMedia, then go for the second best or third best or fourth best. Just quick little update on that school. I got one class and then I got a break where I'm gonna study for my test later on. After the test, I'm going to the chiropractor. Today is an off day. Every Thursday on off days, I go to the chiropractor because when you're trying to be good at something, on your off days, you don't just want to sit around, sit in your ass and watch TV. You want to be productive on your off days. So I find that the chiropractor is going to be productive for me and enhance my performance on the days that I'm actually training. Uh, I'm going to have the chiropractor kind of explain that more in detail to you guys. So stay tuned and let's fucking get it. Welcoming in Caitlin Michelle Fitz to the vlog. Hi. Wait, this is the first time you've been featured in my new series. Oh yeah, welcome to the new series. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself for people that don't know you? Oh, I'm Caitlin Michelle Fett. I'm Chandler's girlfriend. You'll be seeing a lot of me here on the channel. They probably don't know who Chandler is. Oh, Chad. That's me. My real name's Chandler, if you guys didn't know. All right, so we're off. We're gonna get some Chick-fil-A, and then we're off to the chiropractor. Let's go, baby. Guys, wait. What? Life hack. When you go to Chick-fil-A, get a side salad. We'll tell them when, we'll tell okay, them when okay. we're there. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. Yeah, yeah. Look, look. look man, nothing new. Maddie Corn's been in a fucking groove. Headline, I got my own shows, and I run the page like the fucking news. 22, and I ain't slowing down. What did I do? I tried to pop a pimple, and what happened? Tried to pop a pimple and make it look better, except now it looks like a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I could show it to them. Oh my god, that's you a big one. A horn. I got the market salad, grilled chicken, uh, looks like romaine lettuce with just berries and some nuts. And then I got a grilled chicken on the side, fat free honey mustard as my dressing. Did you want to tell them the Chipotle, or not Chipotle, the um, what's this place called? Chick fil A Chick -fil -A. hack? Um, I got... No, what's the hack that you said? Oh, well, you can get a side salad, and it's still a pretty good little size for a snack. And then you can get the nut grilled nuggets and put it on your salad, so you can make your own little grilled chicken salad. 
So, very first thing I look for when I'm assessing somebody is uh, leg length. That tells us muscle tone, that tells us rotation of the pelvis, the SI joint, it tells us what's going on in the lumbar spine. And he's actually not, not terrible. And how's mine today? Not terrible. So you, you've hold, you held your last adjustment pretty well. I gotta say the whole week I felt very loose in my back, like no. I paired my snatch well. the next day. <laughs> you paired your snatch? I yeah. did, actually did it today. Really? Yeah. Yeah, literally the day there after. Ninety five for me, but 95, that was like right. that was like a big deal. So you can tell his SI joint is actually rotated back here, which tells me that his, his hip has got enough flexibility to make up for the leg length mm -hmm. issue. I mean, you saw his leg length last week. Yeah. It wasn't so great. Yeah. It's actually really good today. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually would kind of skip his pelvis if I didn't notice that he has a table off here. So he does have a posterior rotation here, yeah. no doubt about it. Uh, take a deep breath in for him. So going up the spine, we're going to assess his... His thoracic spine, how well it expands. If you get more oxygen in your body, you're going to feel better, you're going to perform better. So, again, deep breath in. So what's going on? He's got gray expansion here around the stomach area, around the diaphragm. The diaphragm is a big, powerful muscle. He uses it very good because he's, he's a pretty in-shape guy. Here, it's not moving at all. These are where the lungs are. So if the lungs are inhibited a little bit. It's going to take him much longer to hold this adjustment uh -huh. than it will most adjustments I, I give him. Aside from C1, it's going to be the longest one that's going to take the hold. So, just real quick, we can give him just a little bit more air. Good. Not a, uh, you know, I'm not jumping from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> that would be scary. <laughs> When I adjust a lot of children, people think I, I do this to them. It's like adjusting children is like, it's just totally you do like a karate like, shot. Like WWE. Like, totally, totally different, yeah. Swing from the chandelier technique, that's right. Do you want to see a wave? Because as that wave happens, the pumping of cerebral spinal fluid is going up and down his spine. If that ever gets stagnant, yeah. think of your nervous system, your, your spinal cord, your brain as a power plant, and it uses glucose as energy. It also uh, produce waste from using that glucose. Right. And if it just sits in the cerebral spinal fluid uh, on nerves, you're going to have nerve, nervous system dysfunction. And what happens with that? Like, well, you, won't be as, you won't be as smart as you should be. Smart? Yeah. Like, really? So if you have interference from all that garbage between two neurons, those neurons aren't going to communicate very well. So reaction time is slower. Uh, Recall is slower. Take a deep breath in for him. Only, you know, T5 right about here, th th this goes to his heart. Yeah. It's not just going to muscles and that's it. You know, mm -hmm. So the people that argue that chiropractic, oh, very good with muscle skeletal stuff, doesn't have an impact on anything else. Right. Well, false. Chiropractic adjustments can impact heart rate, they can impact blood pressure. Upper cervical adjustment can bring down blood pressure two points. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a study that's been done by Crosby. And I kind of soon so. So cross arms, right? When we, yeah, when we adjusted you. So for this adjustment, we're using the leg as leverage. Not everyone gets adjusted like this in the pelvis, but in this case, he does. Bring, the, bring him over here as one unit. We're not going to rotate you at all. And come down and adjust him. Other side? Other side? <laughs> I have kind of a I want to check the other side, but... <laughs> I have a weird but funny question for you. Yeah. Has anyone ever farted when you did this? <laughs> yes. No! <laughs> You just kind of pretend it doesn't happen. No. <laughs> you just you just pretend it didn't happen and oh, then you move on. And you like yeah, so he's got his SI joints move really good here. I mean, you're gonna hear some clicks and pops when we deal. Face up for me. This way. Yep. I just wanted to make sure because I'm a little amazed that you held the adjustment that long. Look at that. I'm a super well, good. Because you do, you know, CrossFit's not easy on the body. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. The difference between a practice football player and the star of the team is 1%. Absolutely. I worked, I worked for the Jets. I yeah. saw the practicing players. Honestly, I thought they were just as good, in some cases, flash better talent than the starting yeah. starting lineup. Yeah. What's what's the difference? I think it's 1%. Mm -hmm. Wow. Nutrition, good. sleep, the way you take yeah. care of your body. How about an, so, so let's say the star is getting an hour more sleep. Yeah. The starter is... You know, getting adjusted versus practice players not. Uh, you know, he's not this. The practice player is not getting as much attention as well. Not getting paid as much. Yeah. <laughs> but 
So adjustments. I've, I've been was playing around with his suboccipital muscles. Those are the muscles between his his skull and C1. So a lot of important vital information comes out between those two levels, mm -hmm. like heart rate, blood pressure. Your brainstem actually extends all the way down to C2. In a living, breathing person, not cadaver. So we're just move that real, real quick. So it's also the goal for a PT is to re, uh, increase your range of motion. The goal for me is to release your nervous system and make it function as best as possible. Will you get better range of motion from what I'm doing? Yes. But more importantly, I'm, I'm letting the nervous system do its thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, short sweet. My my deal is I detect and remove subluxation. When you function better, you feel better. That's it. I'm not. I don't treat headaches. I don't treat low back pain. I don't treat. Asthma, you know, kids come in for asthma. I don't, I don't treat asthma ear infections. When they like function be better, it feels asthma. better. It's very hard to treat asthma. But if your range of motion, your ribs is increased and your lungs can expand more, and yeah, you should have a problem. You, you should be able to breathe easier if you if you use that inhaler one less time per week. Eventually, you don't need the inhaler, right? Yeah. What are you doing here? You're done. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> All right. If I didn't Let's talk as much, this would have been a you know a ten minutes. Thank you. Do you want to? Uh, That's not bad for the fly. Do you want to say your name, how to reach you, where we're at? Dr. Mike, of chiropractor in Brookfield, Connecticut, next to Costco. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Your turn, Kate. Why does your complex have so many cute dogs? What's your favorite one? Um, I'm not sure. Favorite breed? Poncho, your favorite breed's a French Bulldog? Mm -hmm. Guys, comment down in the comment section below what your favorite breed of dog is. Chiropractor went well, uh, hanging out with Caitlin's for a little bit, probably do some stuff on my phone, and then I'm going out to dinner, and I'll bring you guys along to ride. Nice, you missed. All right guys, back in my humble domain. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I go to a chiropractor, why I see a chiropractor if I'm not experiencing back pain, if I don't have any back pain at all. Well, like you, like you already heard from the chiropractor himself, it makes you 10% better. Any athlete needs to find a competitive edge. Anybody that's trying to be really good at something needs to find a competitive edge. It doesn't even have to be athletics. But for an athletic standpoint, you heard get an extra hour of sleep, if you eat a little bit better than the other person, if you're working a little bit harder than the other person, if you're getting adjusted, if you're getting body work done, those small things add up and they make you 10% better than the other person that's trying to catch you from behind. There's always gonna be people that are trying to beat you out, always. This world that we live in is a competitive world. Whether you like it or not, we are all competing against each other, no matter what it is. And if you can find a small competitive advantage, like going to see a chiropractor, then you're gonna be 10% better than the person trying to beat you. Same thing for if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to build a business. It's competitive as fuck. And if you can't find an edge, if you can't find something that can beat out the person that's ahead of you, or keep you ahead of the people that are behind you, then you're gonna fucking lose. Just got back from dinner, gonna work on some social media stuff, edit this video. That's the end of this vlog, guys. Thank you for watching.